So for the whole chapter one, we've been looking at equations, inequalities, and modeling. In order to get for, ready for your chapter one test, I want to kind of mention some things that would be helpful for you to look up, study, and notice. Chapter one test will consist of sections one one to one eight. It will include anything that we've studied in these video lectures and the online homework, anything out of the textbook, anything is free game from these eight sections. Some really good review resources for you would be page 160, 62, and 165 out of your textbook. Remember you can access that through WebAssign and then by clicking on the book on the right hand side. These three consist of the chapter summary. The chapter summary is really nice because it gives you a little overview of the section and helps you remember any formulas or anything that you may need. 162 gives you some review exercises, so maybe you want to quiz yourself. And 165 gives you a brief test. Now remember, if it does say something um, that you do not remember that we covered in the lecture and the homework, then that was probably something that I removed from that section, so don't stress about that. Other good things to consider are like the study plan and WebAssign. If you go into WebAssign and scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a study plan area. This area is really nice because you can take a chapter quiz and it'll tell you what you need to work on. You can take a section quiz and it'll show you what you need to work on. It also has some tutorial videos as well. The study plan is not for a grade and I will not view it. So do not feel intimidated if you don't do good and do not feel like it is required, but it is a great additional resource in studying for this exam. Other good things that you need to know, charge your computer. If you're using a laptop of any sort on this exam, make sure it's fully charged. Make sure you have a good internet connection. I personally do not have a good internet connection at my home. Um, I live way out in the boonies where my cell phone even rarely works at certain spots in my home. So make sure your internet connection is good. You do not want to lose connection during the exam. Make sure you're using Firefox or Chrome and you do have Adobe um, Flash Player installed in there. You don't want to be cause a hiccup during the exam. You need something to write with, a scientific or simple calculator, some scratch paper to kind of write on, and 75 minutes of uninterrupted time. If you have 15 kids living at your home and they are all trying to go to bed and one needs milk and the other one needs their blanket and all this, don't start your test, okay? If you know you're going to have to leave in 20 minutes to go to work, don't start your test, okay? Make sure you have 75 minutes of uninterrupted time so that you can work on your exam. It will not be reopened for any technological problems, personal problems, or hardware problem. So if your computer dies and you cannot get back into it, I'm very sorry. I recommend you charge it. If your internet loses signal, I'm sorry. It happens, but um, we're just going to stick to the, all the same guidelines and no special exceptions. So 75 minutes, fun of time, and all the tools that you will need. So good luck on your first exam. I'll see you on the other side.